Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, before we even jump in to today's video, I wanna have just a little teeny tiny chat with you. I can see that right now things don't look too bad, but if things right now look a little crazy, that's because it is actually after work. Like, my entire face of makeup, everything about me right now has already survived like a 12 hour work day, and for today's video, like I thought either in my head I'd either already filmed this on the weekend or during the week or something, but I went to go edit and I was like, girl, I got nothing to edit. Like, where's my stuff? And I like, in my mind, I did this already, but like maybe I didn't. Like that's the kind of week I'm having. So today I just, this is what you're working with. It's looking a little bit, you know, something and we also have like a little nice cheers to 30 years going on because your girl turned 30 and had to have a couple different shirts for the occasion and i'm wearing hot pink sweatpants so really i'm just like this is what you're getting and i think it's pretty high class and if hot pink sweatpants are not the perfect segue into today's video i don't know what is because y'all today we're getting so bougie so flouncy so hot class we're gonna be ranking my natasha denona eyeshadow palettes and this is something <gasps> If you have been here for any length of time, let me just like snuggle myself in because I need to feel my own love right now. Um, I feel like I'm ranking my children. <laughs> like I love my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes so freaking much. I have 10 of them. Yes, I have 10 of them. And today we are going to be taking all 10 of those little children and we are going to be ranking them least to most uh huh favorite oh i don't even want to say it i don't even want to say it out loud oh my god because it hurt so bad now just to give you guys a little backstory and a little bit more information on how i ranked these because i already sat down and i did this painstaking process because doing it on camera like i couldn't mentally do it it was like too hard for me the couple things that are included are price overall like what's in the palette the use of it every day versus fun um like functionality wise the construction of the palette like the quality um and if there's any inconsistencies and that sort of thing and all of those little pieces are what led up to my current ranking so to kick this off I don't know if I mentioned this not because I'm just so flustered we are going to be going from number 10 to number one so we're going from the least all the way to the best and just remember I love you all so much Mwah. now to go ahead and start this review off we're just gonna start with the twins down at number 10 and that would be their 28 pan shadows we have the what is it the green brown I think in the blue purple I think is what they're called these ones don't have like the super cute names that the the newer ones have but for me when I look at these I see a palette that would have been really expensive and really revolutionary back when it came out, which I think was, again, like maybe two, three-ish years ago, and maybe even more, actually. This might have been more like four years ago at this point. But when I look at these, this one right here, especially the green-brown one, I feel like it has so many similar tones in it, and it does have a lot of beautiful textures, but of the two, if I had to pick one over the other, I do think that the blue-purple is just a little bit more um, put together. It has a little bit more diversity, but the two of them together, these do retail per piece for $239 each, and for me, I'm just like, girl, in 2019, given the advancements that we've had in eyeshadow, in color story, in formula, in everything, like, you could literally buy, like, six palettes for that now, all of which would be amazing, all of which would just be, like, oh, standout quality, and we've seen some amazing color stories. Even from, like, ColourPop, we've seen amazing color stories. And these were, of course, the 28 pan eyeshadow palettes, and a lot of what we're going to talk about today is, like, a 15-ish pan palette, so there are more shades in here for the price, but again, nothing to justify it, at least not to me. And I don't know, they're just, they're beautiful. I love them. They'll always hold a special place in my heart because they were the first ones I purchased. But like, girl, I just can't. Like, you're sitting at the bottom. I'm sorry. I'm just, goodbye. Like, it's where you gotta go. $239 is a lot. $239 does make me cry, yeah. All right, now sliding into number eight, you guys, we have something that still surprises me while I'm talking about it, and that is the Biba palette. Guys, this one, it pains me that it is this low. Do you remember at the beginning when I was telling you all of the things that factored into the ranking, and one of them was quality and construction, and guys, this palette is the worst construction I have ever seen on a Natasha Denona palette, like, bar none. I have never had a palette give me this many problems and if you look at it I don't know how well you can see it <laughs> guys that was not planned at all so we see what Paige was talking about when she says construction um, because literally the shadows just fall out and it isn't the pan falling out like it's just the shadow 
the shadow that falls out and guys like I'm telling you I've tried so many times to use this palette every single time I get it out I have to be so 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 careful and guys I'm not just one of those careful people like my arms flail when I talk I talk a lot I'm and like my everything about me just flails all over I'm a very flaily person if you will and for me this palette is just a hazard to have around number one because I'm always like afraid I'm gonna hurt it which clearly just in holding it I have done and also all of that aside like out of the ones that have fallen out like the actual shadows that have fallen out of this palette um one two three four five six seven I have had seven shadows fall out of this palette seven shades and this is like again one of the 120 some dollar palettes like they should not be falling out I'm sorry and for me construction was just a huge factor I love the color story I love the colors everything was very consistent in that respect I'm just gonna close it up and I'm gonna stop here because I'm like I don't want the shades to keep falling out just all over the floor but yeah, so for me, number eight, because quality, construction, girl, if you're going to charge that price tag, you got to bring that quality, and that, that's not there. Dare I say, that is the T. <laughs> Get it? Quality, quality, T. <laughs> I'm so funny. Also, I'd just like you guys to know that from eight up, so that one on up, um, it is, it was so hard for me. Like, this took me an hour to put this together because I had such a difficult time ranking these, and I had such a difficult time that I uh, brought myself in some Dove chocolates because I felt like doing such a difficult time Task, it really deserved a reward so I have dove yes all right guys it's officially getting painful already at number seven I have for you the sunset palette oh my god this hurts so bad guys I love this palette. I just want to say right now I love all of these palettes so much like just now going forward you will hear me say oh I love this palette and it's because I feel guilt but whatever um this is the sunset palette it has 15 shades in it now this one is at number seven for two reasons the first one is um I feel like later on this color story does come up a little bit more now it's not as developed in the other palettes but I feel like a lot of these are present in other palettes so you lost a couple points there and then number two for me would be the consistency of the shades there are some of them that they're just not equal to each other um for example the yellow one it feels a little bit grainy I can feel a little bit more roughness to that shade versus like the butteriness of this light pink right here and this brown these are both so 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 buttery and it's nothing that really translates when you swatch them like oh my god like look at that brown hello that is <laughs> so beautiful um but for me when it comes to Denona like I expect everything in here to be just equally sexy and smooth and amazing and the inconsistency in this palette is just a little bit more than I'm used to seeing like again I'll, I'll accept a little variance based on glitter or shimmer or what have you because sometimes colors react differently and whatnot but there is just a little bit of inconsistency here that I don't expect to see in a palette that's that expensive with this type of a shade range it's one of those things where it has to have everything to go up higher in the rankings you know it has to have the color scheme and it has to be unique and it has to have the right consistency and and have a wow factor like with Denona I just expect a wow factor now and for me it, it had them when it came out but it's kind of lacking now that time has went on I've seen the color story again and like you know what I mean like we're moving past it I still love it it's still amazing but we're, we're moving on that like physically hurt my soul like my actual heart is tired right now it's tired. Also, for those of you that are new here, hello. My name is Paige, and I have a brain tumor that puts me through puberty, pregnancy, and menopause all at once. It's non-cancerous. I will live, but it does put me through puberty, pregnancy, and menopause. We're talking, like, severe hormone shifts, and do you know what I needed? Like, I was going to cry if I couldn't have McDonald's french fries. Oh, my God. Cravings are real, okay? If you are with someone, and they are pregnant, or they have a hormonal problem, and they crave something just get it for them like just be that person because i honestly like i thought i was gonna die that's how much she was like what do you want for dinner and i was like french fries from mcdonald's don't come for me it's this or, or i'm gonna die like i'll actually not survive i mean okay i might have lived but like my parents are amazing all right guys so after sitting and deliberating with myself for another 10 minutes i have officially changed my own order and now for number six i will present to you the tropic palette now this was originally and i mean ooh, girl she had to fight to come down this far she was up at the top like I'm talking number three number four like the ranking was much different however after sitting here and doing some further deliberation the one that was originally in the number six spot 
I just couldn't do it mainly because when it comes to this palette there are a couple aspects that I wish I could change so let's go ahead and talk about it so the first thing I want to note about this little guy is that I'm pretty sure it is no longer available I looked on the Beautylish website and on Natasha Denona's website and I didn't see it in either of those places so if you guys were curious about that side of things if you can't find it on Beautylish or whatever that is why but let's go ahead and talk about real quick the reason that this did move down in the ranks a couple of notches and that would be the diversity of the shades on the neutral spectrum I feel like this right here like these top two rows they are so so neutral which I do love and I think it complements the brighter shades really well but I wish that there had been just a little bit more diversity in the depth when it came to this palette like both of these lighter tones right here very similar these two shades right here very similar these ones down here very similar you know what I mean like they're a little bit different like you know this one's a little more pink this one's a little more coral pink but those are kind of diversities that I wish were just a little greater like I would rather have it be like maybe this one's light pink but this one's a rich coral or something like that and I know that they were trying to keep it neutral but it's just a little too neutral now the other issue that I have with this palette is the inconsistency in the shimmers this yellow right here is such a beautiful like pale pale shimmery yellow it's beautiful but when you compare it against like the blue right here and we'll grab this blue down here when you compare these next to each other the pigmentation and the way that they apply is just it's not it's not the same like one of them will be really really rich one of them will be really smooth this one's going to feel kind of chunky and for the consistency factor i didn't love it to the contrary of that the rest of them are matte and i feel like the matte shades in here are very consistent and they perform beautifully so again the the neutrality of this and like the similarity of the neutrals as well as the slight inconsistencies bumped it down a little but still I love this palette like I used it so so much. All right, so I just had another 10 minutes of deliberation, and I would like to bring you number five, formerly known as number four, and that would be the Safari palette. Guys, this one is painful for me because the quality is here. Like 10 out of 10, all of these perform the same. They're all super beautiful. They're all very creamy. They all swatch. Like everything about this is very consistent. It's beautiful. The pans don't fall out when I tip it. Like they don't fall out, which is, you know, great. Thank you, Biba. But for me, this one had to go down to number five just because, and I know no, it's in the design but it's a personal preference it had to go down to five just because it doesn't have any shimmers in it and you guys know if you've ever seen any of my eye looks I really love to have a shimmer in my palette whether it is to highlight the brow bone highlight the inner eye really use it to like open up my eye and like you know create some more depth and dimension because I have smaller more squatty eyes and this just does not have that shimmer and I think too what I love about this palette is that it's so consistently like earth toned and it just has so much consistency in that way as well like not just creamy just buttery application is amazing but even the overall aesthetic to it is beautiful and I don't know I'm just I really really love the palette again it's beautiful I, I say it like 12 times like I love you so much please don't hate me um but I just I had to knock it down a little just for the shimmer factor all right guys so this is where the hate might really 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 start to flow in for number four I have the Leela palette. Oh my God. Like it hurts me to say that. Okay. I love this palette so much. Again, just like the Biba palette, quality and consistency are beautiful. You can tell I had a ton, a ton of use out of this palette. For me, the only reason it is at number four and the other one that you're about to see in a second is at number three is because I feel like for the price, cause this one does have the higher, I think it's $129 price tag for the price. I wish that there would have been just a little bit more brightness to this palette. That's my only issue. It has these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful purple shades right through here. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love this pink shade. I love these gold shades. Like, they're just so buttery and so smooth. And I went ahead and I swatched them right over here. I swatched a couple of my favorites. And I swatched also out of the palette while I was at it the two lighter shades. And this, for me, is where the palette is lacking, again, for my personal aesthetic. This is a light lavender shade. And then there's kind of a light gold-ish shade right over here. And both of those colors, for me, they're the lightest shades in the palette. They're just not light enough for me and how I like to do my eyes personally. I like to have a nice light bright kind of shade whether it's like bright impactful or if it's like bright white or something like that. I just like to have something that I can create a lot more depth. Similar to the um, Safari palette not having any shimmers. This is just one of those personal things where I need that brightness and this one just doesn't have it. Alright so moving on guys we're officially in the top three and we will be ringing that in with the Sunrise palette. Now this one this one was a little bit tricky for me because when it comes to overall 
overall like color stories this one has red shades in it and I don't wear a lot of red it makes me look very bloodshot and it really washes out my face whereas the Lila palette has a lot of like deep purples and pinks that I just absolutely adore like I love those colors so much and this one just doesn't have that however what it does have I felt like kind of outweighed it again for me personally um, first thing we can talk about is the price I feel like this one is $65 which is quite literally half of the $129 price tag or whatever that we're used to seeing but two I was really happy that when the price shrank the shadows stayed nice and big these are still 0 0.044 ounces a piece which is great you guys know if you've been here for any length of time that I'm a big believer in that standard 0 0.05 ounce rule when it comes to a shadow and these are right up close to where they should be so I was really happy when the price tag went down but you still got a fair amount of product with it so those two things right there automatically moved it up in my book um, the third thing as far as the color story goes even though it does like I said have those red tones that I don't really reach for it has a beautiful beautiful selection of both sides and a little bit of everything when it comes to like brown neutrals we have like a nice yellow we have a little orange a little purple which I swatched right here on my finger oh girl she's so pretty and we just have a little bit of everything and I feel like this palette compared to some of the other ones we have seen which were so much so like cuddled into the corner when it came to like neutral browns and then like golds or like you know pinks and purples like this one just had a little bit more I felt of everything and truly embodied that like sunrise aesthetic which I really do love and enjoy and just to kind of showcase a couple of my favorite shades out of this palette again I just feel like the story in this one speaks more to me and for the price like you just can't beat it plus look at those two like that yellow that orange all oh, that color combo is everything and I love purple and orange together oh my god like mmm so good. My necklace is moving. My necklace is grooving, girl. You better get back there. All right, guys. So coming in hot at number two, and this was an incredibly difficult situation. I'm just going to pull it off like a Band-Aid. We have the gold palette, and this fought. <laughs> I'm telling you what. This was this was difficult for me. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to talk about why I love it. Again, quality, consistency, all of that is beautiful. And the only reason this is in the number two spot is that if you know what's in the number one, like if you went down and done the math in your head, the number one spot, I feel like encapsulates a lot of these colors and a lot of this color story and I felt like for that reason it bumped it to number two now the second reason that it's in the second spot is mainly a consistency issue and I don't even think that this is so much an issue with like consistency like I've spoke about them in previous shades like oh you know this matte feels a little grainy compared to this other matte it's nothing like that it's that in this palette she had different textures and she kind of played around with that world a little bit and they weren't my favorite like I love them I wear them they make beautiful toppers but I would have almost rather that some of them been actual shimmers and I'm getting so so finite with my review and that's because drum roll please we are on to number one and if you have any deduction and you know my palette collection at all you know that number one is the newest Metropolis palette and for me guys I <laughs> love this palette and I know so many people by the way they don't like it it's not interesting they're just like you yuck no thank you and I can totally see where you're coming from but for me this Metropolis palette it holds so many aspects of all of those palettes that I absolutely love all into one palette like oh my god it's absolutely amazing and I did do a full review on this I'll link it up above here for you guys if you want to see it um but this palette guys like we can just we're just going to talk about it when you see it on the internet I feel like this palette just doesn't have the same allure as when you see it in real life so if you're ever in Sephora and you want to go ahead check it out swatch it I definitely think you should especially if you're on the fence but this palette for me Oh god, like the color story, 10 out of 10. Now I'm actually going to go ahead here real quick and I'm going to kind of highlight what I'm talking about as far as that story goes. Alright, so I went ahead and I by no means did I swatch the entire palette, but I just wanted to give you kind of a feel for it. Like you have neutrals, you have pops of blue, you have green, you have some red, you have a little bit of everything except for purple and a brighter orange. Like you do have a neutral orange right here, but there's nothing that's super bright. But I just think that the colors they selected were very cohesive, similar to what I was talking about the Safari palette, how it had that beautiful earth tone feel going on this one has a similar feel like I definitely think everything in here belongs if that makes sense number two I love that in this palette it is the first time since number nine and number ten that we've got to have all 28 pans I know for some people that is pushing it a lot of people don't like anything over like 15 to 20 again totally understandable and if that's like your aesthetic that's kind of what makes you comfortable that's totally fine this might be a little overwhelming but for me what I love about this in that respect is that for 28 pans you get 
get to pay the same price, but you have the diversity of the ones that are $239, which I think is really cool. And the pan size stayed really nice. I believe these ones work out to be like right around 0 .046, 048. So they are still right up again in that 0.05 range, which I'm very happy about. I just feel like for 28 pans, it's the same price. It's a good amount of product. And I think that it kind of gives me a little piece of so many of my other favorite Denona palettes that when I look at this and I look at this story and I just look at everything and her entire body of work in the 10 palettes that I have, this one for me just kind of culminates everything else. And I just, I really have been enjoying it. Again, I know a lot of people have said they don't. Um, and that's totally understandable. You know, everybody has a different aesthetic, but for me, it just, get, oh God, like it just sings to my soul and I really do enjoy it. And all right, you guys, with that, I would like to close my ranks. That is the end. Those are all 10 of my larger Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, all ranked from 10 up through one. And first things first, I want to hear from you down below. What do you think? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think my ranks were way off? You can leave all of that in the comments. And I just want you guys to know, I know this may have been on the longer side. Editing page is probably exhausted at this point. But more than anything, you guys, I just hope that this was helpful. I hope that this is something where I didn't want to just sit down and like spout off and be crazy. Like, yes, that's my personality, but I really wanted this to be a helpful video because the beginning and short of it is that some people are going to be using this to help guide them. If you're wanting to dive into Denona and you're not really sure what palette to pick, I wanted to be able to tell you my, my favorite things, my least favorite things, what I think is worth it, what I think is not worth it, and kind of give you, you know, just what I think in general. And I hope that this did help kind of guide your purchasing. If you're like me, maybe we have a similar aesthetic or a similar anything. I just hope that this was helpful um, to maybe present you with just a different thought, a different perspective. But I want to hear from you guys, like I said, down below, what do you think of the video, the ranking? Is there anything you think that I should rank next? Um, all of that, leave it down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. Y'all, I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And we talk about everything. We talk about what's new, what's not, what's hot, we rate, we do top five, bottom five. We have, we have a ton of stuff going on. So you should definitely subscribe, take a look, stay a while if you're into it. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And that's what I should have called this. I should have called this rank with me whilst I eat McDonald's. Yes. I know what we can do. Let's rank French fries. Um, number one, McDonald's. Number two, <laughs> who cares? Number two is everyone else. Like, get out of here. I'd like to welcome you all to my mental breakdown mukbang. Uh, just kidding. That would be Trisha Paytas. Y'all, Dove and Diet Coke. Mm -mm. Oh, as I do it again. Why? <laughs> How can two such beautiful things be so not beautiful? I knew I loved you. Yeah. Love to love you, booby. Oh my God, these new lids at McDonald's, like, hello, I need a lightsaber to penetrate this freaking lid.